Hi everyone, I'm Simone, technical specialist from KiloView. Today we are going to look at the D350 preview window. I'm going to show you in the web UI what can be seen and what can't. Let's go. Once you log in in the web UI, you can see on the left side we have the source preview. Whenever we add some source in the source tab, we can drag and drop the source and put it on the preview window. In this case, I'm going to use an NDIHX signal. As you can see now, we see only some frames, because we actually are in the image mode. If we want to have a smoother preview, we just tap on this button and turn it on the video preview. As you can see now, the video is much smoother, and we have the NDIHX decoded. If we press on the status button here, we will see the information of the signal. I have another signal here, we have an SRT feed. Let's drag it into the preview window. As you can see on the source, it's turned yellow, then it goes to blue, then when you establish the connection, it turns to green. Now I'm decoding the SRT feed and we have all the statistics about it. The D350 isn't, by the way, able to preview everything through the web UI. In fact, H.264B frame, HEVC and full NDI can be previewed in the web UI. But the decoder is still able to decode those kind of signals through the physical HDMI's outputs and the HDI too. Let me show you an example. If I'm gonna open the NDI bridge and try to convert my full NDI into HEVC signals, you will see that I don't have any preview into the web UI. Let's try to add the signal in HEVC this time, put it on the preview, and you will see that we have no signal at all. But we still have the green tab on the source, so actually the decoder is decoding the signal and can output it through the HDMI's and the SDI outputs easily. Stuff like full NDI can't be fully decoded through the web UI, but the decoder itself can actually still decode the signal. As you can see, if I put it on the preview and on the output, a message preview not working. But we still have the green tab here, so the decoder is actually working fine. Furthermore, in the preview row, we can still have multiple inputs at the same time. As you can see, I can drag and drop one of the NDIHX signal, but if I want to, I can do double window, I can do quadruple window, nine and up to 16 of those. As you can see, I can fill it for whatever signal I have and still continue. I will have also always the data and I can preview multiple signals at once. For the best compatibility, we always recommend you to use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge to access the web UI and see the preview of your signals. If you are stacked and can't see the signals, you can always clear the history of the browser and refresh the web UI page. I hope you liked this video and for any technical support, you can always email us at support at kiloview.com or reach our site www.kiloview.com. See you in the next one.